Today I'm sharing seven obstacles that are standing in your way of achieving your goals. Hi, my name is Kath from kathkyle.com and I am the author of Stamp Goals book and I help entrepreneurs to set goals that they will actually achieve. Now most people do goal setting completely wrong. They set goals once a year and then they forget about them and then at the end of the year they look back and think oh no I didn't achieve my goal I'm not good at goal setting this is not working and I'm going to share seven mistakes that you, that you might be making so that I can help you to finally achieve your goals number one you didn't believe that you were actually capable of achieving the goal that you wrote down why is it that some people seem to just achieve their goals so easily and other people just seem to struggle at every single hurdle. It's all in the mind. It's whether or not you believe that you can actually achieve your goal as to whether or not you do actually achieve it. Henry Ford got it spot on when he said, whether you think you can or you think you can't, you're right. That is one of my favorite sayings. And another one of my favorite sayings from Napoleon Hill is, whatever the mind can conceive and believe, it can achieve. So your success is all down to the beliefs that are in your mind. And it's not just the moment that you set the goals. If you have like a one second thought, oh yes, I can definitely achieve that goal when you write it down on a piece of paper, but then you spend all day long thinking thoughts of failure, then it is your thoughts of failure that are going to dominate. It's not to say that you can't have any negative feelings. We're all human and we all have doubts and fear that crops up but if you can think positive thoughts more than 50 percent of the time then you're on to a winner and you're more likely to achieve your goals so if you find yourself worrying about your business success all day long here is a trick that can help you turn that around try on observe your thoughts and just try and be aware of them to start with. Most people are not even aware of their thoughts. And then once you've become aware of your thoughts, if you catch a negative thought, say if you're thinking, oh, that kind of success will never happen to me, if you're looking at somebody else's success on social media, immediately catch that thought and turn it around and say an affirmation that's the opposite of it, or even just a neutral affirmation, something that you can actually believe. So say, for example, you're thinking that kind of thing can never happen to me why not turn it around and say if she can achieve it then I don't see what's stopping me or I have exactly the same opportunities as everybody else to achieve my goals something that you can really get behind and really believe and the more you do that the more you'll be able to train your brain to really start believing in your own success and this will make a massive difference. Number two, the second mistake that most people make is they focused on getting money before they've given value. Now, you can receive money for not doing anything in everyday life, like you can receive gifts and things like that. That's not to say that you can never get before you've given, but when it comes to a business, the whole principle of a business is it's based on an exchange between two people. It's based on you giving something and then people giving you money in return for the value that you've given. So you're not going to be able to just sit around and think and dream about manifesting a massive big goal before you've actually given something worthy of receiving that money for. So what is it that you are going to give to somebody else? What offer are you going to create? How are you going to demonstrate that you are worthy of receiving that kind of money? Are you going to let people trial your product before they use it? Or are you going to give them little snippets of content to show what your final product might look like if they invested with you? Like I'm doing right now in this YouTube video, I'm giving value to you before I've asked you for anything back in return. So what is going to set you apart from the competition? What makes you unique? And if you're bringing your personality into your business and you are creating videos, your personality will automatically set you apart. So think about what can make you different from everybody else. Number three, this is a mistake that I see a lot of pe uh, people making and I've actually made myself is that you focused exclusively on giving, giving, giving before you focused on growing your personality, growing your characteristics and being 
a successful person. So what do I mean? Well, I took a personality quiz called the Enneagrams quiz and I am a type three, which means I am a type achiever, which means I am known for doing, 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 producing, creating, creating and not reflecting and not stepping back to really think about what is it that I really need to be doing here? What's the right focus of action? And so I just created content, 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 and I didn't take a step back and think, how can I become a leader? I was just following other people's business models and doing what they told me I needed to do. And I wasn't listening to my own intuition when it came to building a business. So what kind of personality traits do you need to build a successful business? There are so many character traits and I've got a download on all these positive characteristic traits if you want to have a look. But there are so many involved in building a business. I would try and focus on one at a time. So what are you going to work on this week? What character trait are you going to work on this week? And how can you look into growing that? Do you need to be more consistent? Do you need to be more of a leader? Do you need to have more intuition? Do you need to have more faith in yourself? There are so many. So what do you need to focus on? Number four, you didn't make goal setting a habit. So if you're anything like me, you might have lots of journals with one goal written at the top of it that you've set on New Year's Eve. And then you've looked back and you think you've looked back to previous years and you've, you've thought, oh, I've got so many goals written here and I didn't even look at them a second more. I didn't give them another second of my time. Um, I have had lots of failures with goals and I've also had lots of success with goals. And the times when I was successful was when I really focused on a daily basis on achieving my goals. I kept the goals to the forefront of my mind. So I wrote my goals down on an index card and I read it after I brushed my teeth. So twice a day, I read out my goals and I really focused on my goals every single day and it made a massive difference and it really worked. Within six months of me starting a new business, I was getting 2,000 visitors per day to my website. And within nine months, I was getting 5,000 visitors per day to my website. And I actually stopped working at that point because I was pregnant and I wasn't feeling so well. And my views just skyrocketed up and up and up because I kept focused on my goals. Number five, you didn't put your goals first on your to-do list. So the problem that I see a lot of people having is that they've got a massive, big, long to-do list and they just focus on working through tasks in the order and they don't ever stop to think about whether or not these tasks are actually needed to do right now to achieve their goals. So what I recommend doing is just having a an ideas to-do list where you dump all of your ideas and then you have a to-do list for each day of the week, say Monday to Friday. And then on that to-do list, you only put one to three tasks on there, the absolute critical things, and you focus on the most important thing first. So what is the most important thing? I call these the must tasks, marketing and sales tasks, must. And these are absolutely crucial for running your business. If you don't make any money, you're not in business. So focus on those tasks first. Focus on selling your offer. If you don't have an offer, focus on creating an offer first. And if somebody else is, is doing these tasks in your organization, one of your team members are doing it, that's fine. You don't have to do it. But somebody in your organization needs to be focusing on the mast tasks first. These are your critical tasks for achieving your goals. And I recommend that your goals be based on revenue, but also how, what are you going to provide in return for the revenue and how you're going to grow. So the three tasks will be, how are you going to market and sell your product? What are you going to create for your offer? Or how are you going to support your clients? And number three, how are you going to grow and become the person that you need to be? So they are the three crucial tasks that you need to be doing every single day. Number six, you didn't have a manageable plan for achieving the results. Most people say that you have to be realistic when you first start a business, but I'm, I'm not a big fan of the word realistic because we don't really know what's realistic for us when we first start our business. A lot of people say that you can't jump from zero to six figures, but I did it myself, so I know it is possible, but I also know that you have to have the right mindset to be able to do this. So a lot of people make the mistake of setting 
a goal that is six figures or seven figures for their first year in business when they're earning absolutely nothing and when they really question their own mindset they really don't believe that they can actually do it so that goal is not manageable for them and their mindset that they're currently in so you've got to meet your mindset where you are yes work on growing your mindset along the way so you can improve your confidence so you can step into a new more successful mindset but right now set a goal that meets your mindset that you think is actually manageable what do you think it would take for you to earn six figures do you think you can do it on your own or do you think you would need a team so what's man manageable for you right now what are you what price are you pricing your products how many products would you need to sell to reach six figures or to reach seven figures would you be able to do all of that on your own or would you need to hire a team how do you feel about hiring a team is that manageable for you is that manageable for your mindset do you feel like you could manage a team so all of this is asking yourself whether or not you feel that you could manage the goal that you have set for yourself if you're earning nothing and you feel like it's manageable to step into a hundred dollars do that, build your confidence, and then what's the next step? What's manageable for you next? Number seven, you tried to achieve your goal without any support at all. When it comes to business, you need to be your number one supporter. You need to have the confidence and the motivation to carry yourself through, even when other people don't believe in you, or maybe you're getting negative comments from your audience. You need to have the strength to push through that and keep believing in yourself. But that's not to say that you shouldn't have a support system because even the strongest of people need to have people behind them who are motivating them and supporting them. And when you're first starting a business, this often won't be your family members. Um, often they need the proof to really support you because they, they're not confident in business themselves. These, they see business as risky. So you often won't get that support from your family members and they might see that you're earning no money and that's very difficult for them to get behind. So it's better to find somebody outside of your family who can be positive for you all the time without having any emotional baggage tied up in the decisions that you've made. So hiring a coach was one of the best things that I ever did. And I literally felt on fire when I had a coach because um, I just felt like I had so much confidence because I'd invested in myself. And this was the period of time when I first started creating videos for the first time. But even if you can't afford to hire a coach, maybe you could afford a group coaching program. Or maybe if you can't afford a group coaching, maybe a membership. Or failing that, maybe a Facebook support group. Any kind of support that you can get. Maybe you can do a swap. Swap some of your services for a coach's services and you can help each other out. Find a friend in the niche and find an accountability partner. And this is the kind of thing that you can really, really use when you first start your business and every stage of your business to really help you achieve your goals. So one crucial thing that you need to do to achieve your goals is to write them down and focus on them on a daily basis. And I have a free goal planner that is specific to entrepreneurs and helps you set those three goals that I was telling you about that are crucial for entrepreneurs. So if you want that free goal planner, then click the link below and grab that now. So just to recap, Number one, believe in yourself. Number two, in order to get money in a business, you first have to give. Number three, grow the right personality traits to be a successful business owner. Number four, make goal achievement a habit by reading your statement every single day out loud. Number five, focus on your most important task first in the day the one task that is going to be able to work towards your goal. Do that first. Six, set a goal that is manageable for you. Seven, get a support system in place. So if you like this video, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel and like and comment below and let me know where you are with your goals. Have you set any goals this year? Have you been working towards your goals? I can't wait to hear from you.